Okay, in this Revit tutorial, let's take a look at the storefront tool, and then we're going to come back in a future video and take a look at the curtain wall tool, which we'll use for the main entrance. And I'll explain the difference as we kind of go along. So let's first open up one of our floor plan views. And I'm just going to start down here. We have some curtain wall, some storefront, and three of our walls, but let's just go ahead and lay it out. Wall architectural, and you'll see I'm already specified for my storefront, but down below all of your basic walls, you'll come down and you'll see this curtain wall section, and underneath it, you'll see the exterior glazing and storefront options. Now for the height, we're gonna use an unconnected height just for the storefront. And I'm going to put in eight foot, two and three quarters as the actual height. I'm gonna come down to this corner and I'm just gonna to begin to drop in this storefront here. And you'll see the storefront automatically cuts itself into this exterior wall. That's one of the differences between storefront and curtain wall. And I'm just going to make sure I need to click on this and let's use these temporary dimensions. So I know that I'm going to pull my toggle and I want to pull it into my grid line here. So you'll see my grid line will highlight. And right now I have three foot one. Let's change this temporary dimension to four foot. I know that I had four foot from the grid line to that edge of the storefront. And then we wanna make sure that this storefront is 24 feet wide. So here, let's go ahead and just bring this in. We'll change that temporary dimension to 24 feet. Now, when we change that temporary dimension, you see how modified this initial, if what I do here is keep, um, this time I'm going to make that hard coded so that we know we're going to maintain a 24 foot opening for the storefront and then come back and change this to four feet. And you see how it keeps this dimension in place for us. So this is what we wanted to have, a 24 foot wide piece of storefront here out on this edge of our building. So let's repeat the process over here. We're gonna come back up to our wall architectural. All of our storefront on the exterior has that same similar dimension. I'm just going to come out and I know that we have a 12 foot opening for the storefront on this edge. I'm just gonna drop that in this wall as well. Then I'm gonna select it my temporary dimension is already currently to the grid line and we're gonna have another four feet here as well. And I do wanna make sure that I come up here and lock my 12 foot in place before doing that. And now we can get rid of this dimension. That's just so that, like I said before, our curtain wall doesn't, our storefront doesn't begin to uh, change dimension on us and then we have another piece of storefront back here on the back edge as well and that storefront is 24 feet again and it's four foot off of our top corner so let's lay that in and I can just drop in 24 feet again let's select it hard code the overall opening, come back up here, make sure that this temporary dimension is actually to the gray line and give myself another four foot from this edge. I'm gonna get rid of that dimension string for now as well. So now we have the storefront laid out on both our south and our west ends of our building. And then up here on the north edge, we have a 28 foot wide section of storefront, four foot off that edge as well. So let's 
lay in that last piece of storefront. And this is 28 feet. I said once again, hit my escape key, select it again, hard code the overhaul all dimension, shift my temporary dimension string, change that to four foot, get rid of the hard coded dimension. That gives us the appropriate storefront sections. Now let's come back down here on the south edge and I want to take a look at it. We're going to look at an elevation view. So if I come back to my south elevation and take a look at this storefront, this doesn't quite look like what we would want to have. Right now we're having a mullion that's cutting right below that top frame. That's unnecessary. So we're going to just tab through so that I can select it here in the elevation. I'm going to hit edit type. Right now that horizontal grid, the reason why we're getting a piece of emollient actually eight foot up the window is right here. This controls it that we have a fixed dimension. So we don't need a fixed dimension. We're actually going to define our grid lines otherwise. So I'm going to hit none there. And then for the spacing, we're going to give ourselves an actual distance. So the, the spacing that we want to have is we're going to have a four foot distance. So there's my four foot. And this is going to respace this section wall. And I can go ahead and hit delete grid lines because there will be some extraneous grid lines at the top where I pointed out the mullion ahead of time. And now you'll see this is closer. It gives us the four foot spacing that we wanted for all of our storefront as well as we don't have an extra mullion kind of running along that top frame any longer. But we are missing dividing this into three panels. So let's go ahead and change our storefront. Up here on the architectural, we're going to use the grid line. So we're going to use the curtain grid here. Now, for the spacing of these, for the grid lines, you'll see that we have a two foot spacing but I'm going to just go ahead and drop one in here and I'm going to drop one in up top. Just graphically kind of giving myself something that somewhat resembles the spacing we're talking about. Then I'm going to go into one of my mullions and if I just begin to tab through, you'll see I can select that grid line and I'm going to change this temporary dimension to two foot. I'm going to select this grid line by tabbing through and I want to make sure that we change this as well. And we're going to change this to four foot. So we had a two foot dimension on the bottom. We actually had a four foot three. So I made one mistake. Let me just change that to four foot three. And then we had an 11 foot, one 11 in force dimension at the top. So that gives me the appropriate spacing for our storefront. So I'm just going to go back to a 3D view and let's take a look at what we have now. And I'm going to rotate this 3D view by my steering cube. And now you can see the difference between this storefront and all the rest of our storefront. So we'll have to individually drop in those horizontal grid lines for the other pieces of storefront that we have. So let's quickly do that and move on. Back up to the curtain grid tool. We can come down and we can actually put in two foot for this. And you'll notice, depending on how I zoom in, we'll show you how much freedom I exactly have with how the dimension changes as I scroll along the line. So it's, typ it's typically easier. I'll normally just kind of drop these in, tab through, and very quickly just change the the actual spacing and that was four foot three. And I'll repeat that down here as well. You see the two foot that was pretty quick and easy to put in. And then I'll just make sure this one's four foot three, but I'll just insert it. 
and give myself another four foot three. So that's my west side curtain wall laid out. And then let's just go to that north elevation and do the same thing for this last one. Two foot. And there's my four foot three. So as we take a look back here, you can see that's how we lay out the storefront. Let's come back in the next video and take a look at laying out using the curtain wall tool for the main entrance. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And do not forget to subscribe to the Smarter Architect YouTube channel if you haven't already.